Hello, welcome back to a new video. I hope you are well and staying safe. So you might have guessed that by the title, but this video is themed around Disney bounding. If you're thinking, what the hell is Disney bounding? Let me tell you. So when you go to a Disney park, adults are not allowed to dress up only when told they can. So that would be like a special event, like Halloween or something like that. So adults can't dress up. Why, you ask? Well, imagine if you had a really good cosplayer of Snow White stood next to Disney Snow White. It would just really confuse the children. So, because us adults cannot dress up, Disney fans, Disney adults, have created a loophole, a way of kind of dressing up like a character, but not dressing up, and that is Disney Bound. So a character I always use for my example is Snow White. She wears a dress, on the top is blue with little bits of red, and her skirt bit is yellow. So those are her colours, red, yellow and blue. So you could create an outfit with those three colours, so you could wear a blue top and a yellow skirt, yellow trousers, and add little bits of red accessories, and tell you what, Disney fans would understand and see that you are dressing as Snow White. So that is what Disney Bounding is, in a nutshell. I have wanted to do a video like this for a long time, and this is going to be a series. So each month, I am going to do a Disney Bounding video where I will style four different Disney Bounds around a certain area. So this month's video is going to be princesses. So I've got four princess bounds that I've created that I'm going to talk through and say this is why I've created them, this is how I got my idea and then I'm going to put them on and show you what they look like. Obviously they're not going to be perfect because I've got pink hair and no Disney character has pink hair at the moment but this is kind of like you know your modern day princess woohoo. So the first bound is Snow White. So I've bounded a Snow White before. I did it in July 2019 and like I said I thought about what Snow White's colours are. So Snow White's colours are blue, yellow and then she has a little bit of red on her dress. So when I went to the park um, it was very warm so obviously I wanted to factor in and wear an outfit that I felt comfortable in. I found this blue top. It's just a blue little tank top which I got from eBay. It was just very cheap and I just thought it screams out the top bit of Snow White's dress. Then I thought what do I wear on my bottoms and I found these. These are some yellow culottes that I got from Marks and Spencers. They're super cosy, they're super comfy and I just thought put these together and just, just, just seeing that screams Snow White for me. But then I think now how can I incorporate some red. Well, if we're going with modern day princesses, I thought why not add some red love heart sunglasses. Da darling. And a little bit of red lipstick. So I'm going to put on the outfit and I'm going to show you what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so here we have the snow white down. I've got you down low. One because um I can't really get a no good enough angle where just this is the background, but I'm only showing the outfits rather than the actual makeup, so that's why I've got you like this. But this is Snow White, which I, this together just makes me think of Snow White, but I actually would wear this on a day, normal day. I actually wear these trousers quite a lot anyway, they're just so, so comfy. I thought, I'm not going to put the lipstick on because one, I don't want to put it on and two, I think these glasses just make it a little bit more. So I might zoom you out. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. So the next bound is Elsa from Frozen. Now I love Elsa and I'd love her long blonde flowy hair but I had my extensions taken out and I'm now pink so I could be pink version. So I've bounded as Elsa twice. Um, Elsa was the first character I ever bounded as and I kind of did like a casual Elsa bound 
but I felt I needed to probably do a little bit more research. So when I went to California in February 2020, I wanted to go as Elsa again and I found this dress and I was like, oh my God. So this is that dress. Obviously, it's not like proper like Elsa dress she wears. However, obviously, when I think of Elsa, I think she's like the snow queen. So these have little snowflakes. So I got this from a shop called Redbubble and they do some really cool dresses. Anything I talk about, I will link below. If I cannot find said item, I will just put the shop I got it from. But yes, this is what I got. And then I've got from when I first found it as Elsa, my little sheer t-shirt that I wore long sleeve because I just think, of, I don't know why I got it. I just felt that this was appropriate. So I would put this underneath that. Okay, so here is the Elsa bound. So as you can see, it's got little snowflakes on here. And then the mesh top is because in Elsa's dresses, I have seen that she has like, kind of like a long sleeve mesh effect. So that is what I've kind of gone for. It's a really, really cute dress. Obviously, I don't have the long blonde hair at the moment, but I'm a modern day princess, you know? But this is what it looks like, and I just think it's really, really cute. Next bound is Jasmine. So I would kind of class this for me as a casual bound. What I mean by casual is I just have a t-shirt that says Jasmine on. So you can clearly see this is the character I want to represent. So this is from ASOS and you can clearly see it says Jasmine and Jasmine is on there. So I base this outfit round these trousers. Now I've had these trousers for so long and they are really floaty. And now I wore these trousers when I actually went and saw the live action Aladdin. And I was like, oh, this reminds me of Jasmine, floaty, floaty. So when I went to Disney in September 19, I was like, I'm gonna bound with Jasmine. And I thought, what can I add with these floaty kind of bluey trousers? And I found this t-shirt. So this is what I call a casual bound. So the color scheme is there. But I've just been, not lazy, I've just been a bit more different and just added a t-shirt. I've, I've done many, many casual bounds before, but yeah, so I'm going to put this on and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So here we have the jasmine bound. So this is the top half with just the jasmine t-shirt. And what I've done, I have rolled up the top because I'm going to come in closer you can see she has her like little crop top and trousers so what I've done is I've kind of gone with like obviously it's a two-piece anyway but because her t-shirts are cropped up I've kind of made it into a crop but I will lower the camera so you can see what it looks like from this is what it looks like here I love these trousers they are so floaty and I just feel that it just makes me think of Jasmine, these trousers. And of course, like the blue and the blue. So yes, very, very comfy and just really nice. Yeah. And the last bound I'm gonna create is a bound that I've not created before. This is a brand new bound, but I was digging deep in my wardrobe and I was like, oh my God. So the bound I'm gonna create is Cinderella. And I love Cinderella. I used to dress up as Cinderella when I was a little girl. Just, I don't know. I thought, why have I never dressed as her? Why have I never bounded as her? So here we go. So obviously, um, I have gone for the blue dress. Her blue ball gown when she goes to the ball. And I have this dress, which is just really cute. So this is from ASOS. And I... This colour just screams Cinderella. But I don't know why I didn't think about it when I bought it. You know what I mean? But I just thought this looks really beautiful as Cinderella. Really nice and floaty. It's kind of got, it's got those puffy sleeves that are just 
like Cinderella's dress. So I know she wears a like a choker. Oh, actually, oh my god, no. So I was actually just gonna wear this on my head as a thing, but I could get away. Even this screen, Cinderella. No. God, Catherine, you're a genius. Right, let's put it on because I'm excited now. <laughs> okay, so then this is Cinderella's bound, and I love this. The colour and the sleeves, like the puffiness of the sleeves, just make me think of Cinderella's ball gown. The colour, and I can't believe this is just a headband. Like, what the hell? I, I just love it. I've had so much fun creating those Disney bounds and that Cinderella bound got me shook if. But I love Disney bounding. Um, I've done quite a few and you are gonna see them throughout the next couple of months. So each month, like I said, I'm gonna do a brand new video which is gonna be based off different genres. So it could be the Fab Five, 100 Acre Wood. I might even do a Harry Potter version who no, so stay tuned to next month for episode two of my Disney Bound series. I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that watches this video. Uh, any of my videos, I'm extremely grateful. And to anyone that subscribes, likes, comments, I love you all. So if you are new here, please subscribe as it would mean a lot to me. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on my social medias, Corners of Kate's, it will be here. Boom. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.